Did you know that the kind of flour you use matters? Here's why. When you want to get really good at baking and kind of dial in and up your skills, you want to first learn about the flours you're using, the protein content that's in them, and then start making decisions about which flour you use uh, for your end result. Uh, in flour, there's, there's proteins. There's actually many proteins, but the two that form gluten are glutenin and gliadin. And those two proteins, when you add water to them, they will, when you hydrate them, they will start to bond together. And cake flour has a lot less protein in it. And then bread flour has a lot more protein in it. And then all-purpose flour is just a mixture of the two. But what you, what you need to know about all-purpose flour is depending on what region of the United States or the world or that you live in, the all-purpose flour can be mixed differently because all-purpose flour being that mix of cake flour and, and bread flour, they, those two have different protein contents. And so the more protein you have in a flour, the stronger it can be because there's more protein to bond together and create gluten strands. And the less protein means the less bonds and less gluten strands you'll have. So that means it'll be softer like for like a cupcake or something like that. And depending on where you live, is, is, depends on how they mix those flours together. And so you may be in the south, uh, the south and make really fluffy biscuits with your all-purpose flour because it's most likely more cake flour mixed into it. You may go up north and use the same recipe and wonder why, why are your biscuits hard? And that's because of the, in, in the north, sometimes regionally, the flour is mixed differently and you might have more bread flour in it, just as an example. So think about that first. The end result is if it's something you want to be softer and, and fluffier and you know, easy just to eat with your mouth or, you know, or barely cut it with a fork, cake flour or a, or a higher percentage of cake flour in your recipe may be helpful. If you need to be really strong, like for like a pizza dough or a pasta dough, you want to be really strong and, uh, and flexible and develop lots of gluten, you might want to think about a bread flour or a high gluten flour or even a pastry flour. If you want to have a really smooth, finished product, you might want to think about a double zero flour. We also call it pizza and pasta flour. Um, sometimes you'll find that online. And that flour is highly uh, refined. It's ground really fine. So it's really smooth. And so that is some of the importance of flour that you need to know. And so before you get into your baking, if you want to up your skills, start by looking at your flour and seeing uh, what kind of flour it is, even trying some different protein contents. And then from there, you are able to make decisions even before you start on what your final product will look like.